Patients undergoing surgical removal of symptomatic kidney stones often have small asymptomatic stones detected on imaging. Whether removal of these secondary stones improves patient outcomes is unclear, and clinical guidelines are equivocal. A new study examined whether removing small secondary kidney stones during surgical removal of primary stones would reduce the risk of relapse. In this prospective multicenter randomized unblinded control trial, among adults undergoing endoscopic removal of kidney or ureteral stones, 38 patients also had at least one small asymptomatic secondary stone removed by ureteroscopy, while 35 patients did not have their secondary stones removed. The primary outcome was relapse, defined as a future emergency department visit for stones on the same side as the original stone, subsequent surgery for stones on that same side, or growth of an original secondary stone or a residual fragment. During a median follow-up of four years, the relapse rate was 82% lower among patients who'd had their secondary stones removed than in the control group. 16% of the treatment group had a relapse as compared with 63% of the control group. Among the secondary outcomes, treatment added roughly 25 minutes to the operative time. The incidence of surgery-related emergency department visits did not differ significantly between the groups. The authors conclude that removal of asymptomatic secondary kidney stones during surgical removal of primary stones lowered the risk of relapse without increasing surgery-related emergency department visits. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.